we've been focusing all of our attention on Wi-Fi. Can we hack Bluetooth? Of course we can. You've probably read about or heard about some high-profile cases where celebrities' phones got hacked via Bluetooth. Let's take a look. First, we need to understand a little bit about Bluetooth. There's such a thing as the Bluetooth mode. There are discoverable modes where I'm going to broadcast my presence and other devices can see me and pair with me. Or I'll broadcast my presence for just a short period of time, limited discoverable. Or I just won't broadcast my presence. I'll be non-discoverable. It doesn't turn Bluetooth off. You just need to know who I am. You can't just suddenly pick me out of a list. You can still attack me if you know my MAC address or whatever my other identifier is. Then we have something called pairing modes. Now, with Bluetooth, it's a point-to-point -point connection. It's actually a PicoNet. Point-to-point -point connection between the device and another device. And usually in Bluetooth, it doesn't have to be this way, one device will be whatever the master is, like a computer or your phone. And then the other device will be a watch or um, your tennis shoes or a printer, some peripheral device that connects to the master device. Now, pairing is the act of making the connection. You can have one of two modes in Bluetooth. You can say, yeah, I'm willing to make a connection. I'm pairable or I'm not willing to make a connection. I am non-parable. And you've probably said, oh, my headset, we've identified it, let's pair. And then there'll be something like, do you recognize this? Or you have to pick it or you have to enter it or something like that. Usually it's quite easy. So now we've made a connection, we've paired. Okay, great. There are many threats to Bluetooth. We could disclose personal information we could run remote code and execute it remotely. We could send fake SMS messages and do social engineering. We could make unauthorized calls in the back of your phone. You don't even realize that we're using up your airtime and your call bundle. So let's take a look at the Bluetooth attack types. There's the good old Blueborn attack. Now, this one's pretty wild. What I love about it is if we're successful, we could execute arbitrary code remotely. The attack virus spreads through the air. Well, of course it does, because this is radio, this is Bluetooth, basically the same frequencies, same frequency range as Wi-Fi. We could take full control of a device. And here's the best part. We don't have to pair, and the target does not have to be in discoverable mode. <laughs> what? That's pretty wild. Then there's blue jacking. With blue jacking, we send some unsolicited message to a Bluetooth enabled device and the message could contain a malicious payload like a Trojan horse. Then there's blue snarfing. We are getting unauthorized access to the storage of that device and we're hoovering up emails and messages and contacts and that sort of information. We've heard some high profile cases with celebrities where blue snarfing happened. Then there's blue bugging. We'll turn the target into some kind of surveillance tool. We'll turn on its microphone, turn on its camera, and have it do the surveillance for us. There's blue smacking, blue smacking. It's a denial of service attack, as the name implies. There's blue sniffing. We'll sniff around to locate Bluetooth devices. That would be a recon trick first, right? Blue printing, not that we're sending attacks to printers, but we're getting details. It's an enumeration attack, we're getting details about Bluetooth devices after we've sniffed their presence. There's Mac spoofing, so we could clone or do man in the middle attacks, clone Bluetooth devices, pretend to be somebody that we're not. And then, of course, since we've done the Mac spoofing, we'll do an MITM. We'll manipulate communication between Bluetooth devices. Mac spoofing is usually the way that we do it. And it's commonly used against Bluetooth LE, low energy IoT devices, 
and the app on the smartphone. Here is an example of BlueSnarfin. You can see all the various commands that we can run. We can push files, we can pull files, we can get device information, phone book info, calendar info, get the whole phone book, get the whole calendar, um, get what this thing is capable of, uh, and if there are any uh, V cards, you know, like you know, when you send um, messages and there's like a little virtual card that is down at the uh, the end, we could grab those as well. So what are the hacking tools that do these attacks? Well, with Blueborn, the whole framework, and there are many versions of this, just get it on GitHub. Just do a search for Blueborn on GitHub. Spoof Toof. This is a spoofing cloning app. Blue Scanner, BT Scanner, these are Bluetooth device scanners. They'll extract as much info as possible without pairing with the target. There's BT Crawler, scan and find devices. Blue Driving, <laughs> we talk about war driving and war flying. Well, we can walk around or drive around, I suppose, and try to find Bluetooth targets that we can attack. And there's Phone Snoop. If you still have a Blackberry, which was quite the rage for quite some time, and I don't know if anyone still uses them, but you could turn Barry into a room bugging device using phone snoop. There's BH Bluejack, an open source bluejacking software. There's Blue Snarfer and BTO Bex for blue snarfing. There's Bluever, which is a little bit older here. You can blue bug, blue jack, blue snarf. There's Blue Diving. It has several of these tools here. Blue bug, blue snarf, and blue smack. There's the GAT tracker, and I love this, Beetlejuice, Bluetooth Low Energy Juice, BTLE Beetlejuice. Uh, so it's an eavesdropping MITM tool. We can uh, conduct attacks against Bluetooth low energy peripherals like IoT wearables and someone's phone. Here are just a few examples of mobile apps that you can run on Android or whatever, Blue Sniff, BLE Scanner, Super Bluetooth Hack, and CI Hardware BT, CIHWBT, an exploit suite of tools. So that is our look at hacking Bluetooth. Now let's move on.